Panic disorder occurs when you experience recurring unexpected panic attacks. The DSM-5 defines panic attacks as abrupt surges of intense fear or discomfort that peak within minutes. People with the disorder live in fear of having a panic attack. You may be having a panic attack when you feel sudden, overwhelming terror that has no obvious cause. You may experience physical symptoms, such as a racing heart, breathing difficulties, and sweating. Most people experience a panic attack once or twice in their lives. The American Psychological Association reports that one out of every 75 people might experience a panic disorder. Panic disorder is characterized by persistent fear of having another panic attack after you have experienced at least one month, or more, of persistent concern or worry about additional panic attacks, or their consequences, recurring. Even though the symptoms of this disorder can be quite overwhelming and frightening, they can be managed and improved with treatment. Seeking treatment is the most important part of reducing symptoms and improving your quality of life. What are the symptoms of panic disorder? Symptoms of panic disorder often begin to appear in teens and young adults under the age of 25. If you have had four or more panic attacks, or you live in fear of having another panic attack after experiencing one, you may have a panic disorder. Panic attacks produce intense fear that begins suddenly, often with no warning. An attack typically lasts for 10 to 20 minutes, but in extreme cases, symptoms may last for more than an hour. The experience is different for everyone, and symptoms often vary. Common symptoms associated with a panic attack include Racing heartbeat or palpitations Shortness of breath Feeling like you are choking Dizziness vertigo Lightheadedness Nausea Sweating or chills Shaking or trembling Changes in mental state, including a feeling of derealization, feeling of unreality, or depersonalization, being detached from oneself. Numbness or tingling in your hands or feet. Chest pain or tightness. Fear that you might die. The symptoms of a panic attack often occur for no clear reason. Typically, the symptoms are not proportionate to the level of danger that exists in the environment. Because these attacks can't be predicted, they can significantly affect your functioning. Fear of a panic attack or recalling a panic attack can result in another attack. What causes panic disorder? Although the causes of panic disorder are not clearly understood, information about the disease does indicate that certain groups are more likely to develop the disorder. In particular, women are twice as likely as men to develop the condition, according to the National Institute of Mental Health. How is panic disorder treated? Treatment for panic disorder focuses on reducing or eliminating your symptoms. This is achieved through therapy with a qualified professional and in some cases, medication. Therapy typically involves cognitive behavioral therapy CBT. This therapy teaches you to change your thoughts and actions so that you can understand your attacks and manage your fear. Medications used to treat panic disorder can include selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors SSRIs, a class of antidepressant. SSRIs prescribed for panic disorder may include fluoxetine, peroxidine, sertraline. Other medications sometimes used to treat panic disorder include serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors SNRIs, another class of antidepressant, anti-seizure drugs, benzodiazepines commonly used as tranquilizers, including diazepam or clonazepam. Monoamine oxidase inhibitors MAOIs, another type of antidepressant that is used infrequently because of rare but serious side effects. In addition to these treatments, there are a number of steps that you can take at home to reduce your symptoms. Examples include Maintaining a regular schedule Exercising on a regular basis Getting enough sleep Avoiding the use of stimulants such as caffeine How can panic disorder be prevented? It may not be possible to prevent panic disorder. However, you can work to reduce your symptoms by avoiding alcohol and stimulants such as caffeine as well as illicit drugs. It is also helpful to notice if you are experiencing symptoms of anxiety following a distressing life event. If you are bothered by something that you experienced or were exposed to, discuss the situation with your primary care provider.